My name is Elizabeth Black. Um, why well, I'd make a really good Scream Queen? Um, I don't know, you know, I, I honestly think that, like, I'm more inclined to less scream and more kick maybe someone's face in. I'm kind of, like, more fun and dangerous in that kind of way, I think. But, like, I'm not necessarily the kind of, like, run around scream if I see something scary kind of person, if that makes sense. Um, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> are, you, are you a horror fan? I, I am, actually. I am a horror fan. I like a lot of movies. Um, more obscure stuff, like Kill List. Um, I like Haosu. I like um, more of the Japanese horror kind of films. So that's more of my preference in regards to horror. What do you like about those movies? Um, they're a little more eclectic, but not so just kind of run-of-the-mill American horror. Um, especially like Kill List. It's just suspenseful. The ending is super dramatic. There's a lot of... Um, build up with it. It's not necessarily like music and then something crazy happens. I think I like more build up and suspense with my horror films. Cool. Cool. Tell me a little bit about your job. Or um, so I work with kids during the day, uh, development, uh, development of disabled kids during the day, and then I pole dance at night, teach pole dancing. So I'm doing that full time and I work with kids. So I'm kind of like Clark Kent during the day, and then crazy pole dancer at night. <laughs> yeah. So what's the, like, tell me, it's not the pole dancing that you might think of, like, it's more... No, I mean, it's very artistic, but it's fun. I do, like, you know, I do all different kinds of shows. I do burlesque shows. I do shows in Vegas. I do stuff with, like, Rev and Cirque du Soleil. So I do, like, all different kinds of stuff. So I do, like, fun kind of strippery stuff, and then I do artistic stuff, so... I'm pretty kind of like, my range in regards to dancing and pole, in regards to pole dancing is pretty wide. I know there's not a pole here, but are there any moves that you can <laughs> Um, I don't have a lot of space. Um, let's see, I can probably do like a shoulder stand or something fun like that. That's cool. You want to use, well, you might need something lower. I don't know if I can. Let's see, I'm cool. kind of injured because I've been literally doing pole for about... Ah, hi. How's it going? <laughs> hey. Oops. So yeah, I can do that. I can split and kick stuff if you want. <laughs> Again, I'm very like, hi yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> kicking stuff is a good quality. I'm person. very. I'm a very big fan of kicking things. So. Yeah. So would you be more of a villain or a victim in a horror movie? Oh man. Mario grew a villain. I'm pretty dark. Uh, I just kind of have a kind of sick, twisted personality. I think, in, 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 my, in regards to my sense of humor, not like real life. But um, yeah, I'm usually not one to be a victim in general. So, but I don't mind playing one from time to time. I like it. Yeah. If you could meet any horror movie character, who would it be? Ooh. Huh. Freddy Krueger. He's kind of freaky, he's kind of fun, and like he can take you all different kinds of places. Like I feel like Jason Voorhees is kind of boring, he doesn't say anything, he doesn't talk, he just kind of walks around. Michael Myers, same thing. Relatively, like, I like someone with a little more like pizzazz, and I think he's kind of fun. Yeah. Are horror movies sexy? They can be, I guess. I guess it, de it depends on the way that they're made. Sometimes they're a little too much, like they're trying to be like, I don't know. They're trying to over-sexualize things sometimes. I like more subtlety and stuff. I think that's why I like more um, um, international horror films. Because they can like sexualize things, but it's a little more subtle. Why do you think people love horror movies? I think people just like to be excited about things. They like adventure. They like to get worked up. And I feel like regular day life, you don't really get that as much. And so I feel like films in general take you out of that element of just normal, normal day life. But it's really nice to kind of... Um, put like um, be in a situation where you can feel excited about something in a different way and I think that's why I like horror films I think that's why other people like them too if you really wanted to scare someone what would you do <laughs> <laughs> sorry no, that's, okay. that's okay um I don't really know I guess it would depend on the person um you know, I'm very much inclined to sneak up on people, um, play pranks on people, but um, I don't know. I've had a tendency to like hide in people's spaces and just kind of run up on them and freak them out. Pretty simple. 
It's like usually something out of the ordinary, but like unexpected. Nice. Um, describe your perfect day. Sleeping. That's it. Like I don't get to sleep. I work like 10, 15 hours a day most days, and so when I like do nothing, it's like oh, so freaking awesome. So yeah, or like hanging out at the beach or pole dancing. I love pole dancing. So I do that a lot. If I'm not pole dancing, I salsa dance or. I'm doing something that's really like active or I'm doing nothing at all. Kind of like no in between. So, eight films to die for in theaters October 16th. <coughs> How was that?